Here's a question that I hope I can answer for someone who emailed me a couple of days ago and they want to know if they can remove their ceiling ties or their ceiling joists in order to put a second floor in a small uh, block building and uh, basically I want to tell you that you can do it. I would advise, advise getting a structural engineer Here's basically what can happen if you remove your ceiling joists. And again, you can see here in this picture they have been removed. I went ahead and removed the rafters to give you a better view here. And there they are. They're remo removed. And this would be just like starting over. If you remove the ceiling joists, the pressure from the center of the roof, um, the weight, from the center of the roof will actually force the middle of the building, the walls in the middle of the building out. And you'll see this every once in a while. There will be a sag in the ridge. You can see it from the outside of the house. You can see that there's a bow um, down in the ridge because of this type of a problem or something related to it. On the side, you're not going to have a problem because the walls are going to provide you with the tie you need. So this, this won't be a problem. One way that you can remove the ceiling joist will be to actually support the ridge with a ridge beam, something underneath it, like we have here. And this, again, like, will require a structural engineer. I mean, you'd hate to put a post because you're going to concentrate a lot of load a lot of weight will be concentrated on these posts as the weight from the roof transfers down to the walls. And if you don't have the correct support under these posts, then um, you could end up with a bigger problem than you ever imagined. Trust me on this one. I mean, it's this is where the structural engineer comes in. So it's kind of like what I'm providing you with is a way that you can do something. But I would advise getting a structural engineer for that. Now, another question you had in your email was, what if the support was a little too low? Uh, and here's another way. And again, this is going to be a lot more work. You can actually put the ridge beam right into the, you can replace the original ridge with a beam and put it in the roof system. Um, it would still be supported. So if you need a little extra room, I mean, if a structural engineer comes in and says you need a 6x14, um, this is really going to encroach on this area and create problems for you. Um, if you can raise it up another uh, six, seven inches, that might be might solve your problem. But again, um, the beam for this type of, if you're going to remove the collar ties, this is really the only type of framing I can think of unless you were actually going to remove the roof. And if that was the case, you could raise the walls up and uh, reinstall the roof and you would be okay. And you could actually use wood framing to, to remove the roof um, and then reframe some walls and then replace the roof. But again, that's going to cost you a lot of money and I don't think that's really what you're looking for. So I hope that answers your question. If it does, let me know. And I hope this video will provide some use for other people in the future who have the same question.